hello everybody welcome back to my kitchen in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i make my bitter leaf egusi soup right here are the things that i'm going to be using i have my already washed bitter leaf this is a combination of both fresh and dried bitter leaf that has been washed together and at the side of it i have my crayfish i also have some chopped onion in this bowl I have my already chopped tomatoes as well. In the blender is my already blended uh, egusi and I also have some meat in the other pot there. So we are going to start cooking. I'm using palm oil for this recipe guys. This is the best option. And make sure your palm oil isn't bleached. When you put it into your pot, you're just letting it warm up for usage. So my palm oil is warm enough now. I'm just going to bring in my chopped onion. So we'll let this onion simmer for a few minutes and then we can bring in our chopped tomatoes. So we'll let this cook for some time, we'll let it be on the fire for a few minutes before adding the other ingredients. By the way guys, I just want to welcome each and every one of you who is here for their first time. Thank you for jumping in, thank you for, thank you for joining my channel today. Kindly click on that red subscribe button to join the family and please do not forget to support by your liking, sharing and commenting in whatever way you're able to support. I sincerely appreciate. So you can see that our tomato has cooked nicely. I think this is enough for me. I don't want it like to dry it and fry it. I'm going to add in the other stuff. I'm adding in my crayfish now. Uh, I know most people say crayfish is good. It's best when added really late at the end stage of the cooking. Uh, because it gives a proper taste. But it's fine. You can add it now. Because from now hence, so we are not going to be cooking our food for too long anyways. It's just vegetable and egusi. So you can add it at any point. So I've added a pinch of salt as well and I'm going to add one seasoning cube. I'm just a bit skeptical with the seasonings I'm putting now because when I was boiling my meat I added like quite a huge quantity of maggi, salt and pepper, all those ingredients. So now I'm not going to be adding a lot of stuffs and for the pepper itself, the hot pepper, I'm just putting some of it directly into the pot. I'm not blending it. So we'll let all of this be for a few minutes and then we can start to bring our egusi. So it's time to bring in our main ingredient of the day which is egusi. We are going to put it directly into the pot and let it cook. So all of the egusi is right here into the pot and what I've done is I've reduced the heat to moderate almost low actually because we don't want this getting burnt we don't want this getting burnt so you have to reduce your heat to low and let it cook gradually like it really has to take its time and cook gently so i'm going to cover the pot and let this cook I just want to check this out and see how it's going it's actually taking a long time and you can see how it's bubbling slowly I don't think it's cooked yet I can see that the, the egusi hasn't even started making its clot yet so it still has some time I'm also making sure that it's not getting burnt underneath the pot as well so I'm still going to cover it again and let this cook Mm. 
okay guys so you can see now that this has been on the fire for quite some time and i go see it's cooking nicely yeah this has cooked and i'm happy with the way it looks now i can go ahead and stir it all over because at least if gotten the cloth and everywhere it's cooked it's cooked nicely So stereo it goes in making sure it's mixed with the tomatoes and everything is mixed together. For those who really want the cloths to be in your egos, you can always boil your egos separately to make sure it's it has a cloth before you put it in your in your soup but i really don't mind so i'm going into it with it uh, i just went directly and added it into my tomatoes so i'm just going to cover the pot again and let it be for a few minutes while i'm getting ready with the other ingredients All right, guys, you can see how this looks. Uh, you can see it's cooking nicely, and I'm happy with the outcome of it. It has the little clots that we want, which is okay. We're just going to go ahead now and bring our washed bitter leaf and add it directly into our already cooked egusi. okay so i'm i'm thinking that this pot is not going to the size is already looking small for my egosi soup i don't just know how to cook tiny quantities of food i don't know why but i believe it's because i grew up in a large family and whenever we are cooking we cook in large pots so i'm finding it really difficult to cook tiny quantity of quantities of food I'm still struggling with that. I actually wanted to cook just something very little, but I'm yeah, am I ending up with something like it's already the pot is already small for this, so I'll have to change this point this pot at some point. So I've added my bitter leaf and I still have my meat yet to be added. So you can see that the pot is actually small, guys. I've got no choice. I've got to transfer everything into a different pot, a bigger size pot. I've just transferred everything into this other pot and I'm going to continue adding my meat into it. So the meat actually that I boiled, I boiled some dried fish, I boiled uh, some stripes, just a combination. I have had beef ears, I have cow food, I just made a combination of what I had at home in there. So dried fish is very essential for your bitter leaf soup preparation dry fish and crayfish are very essential so we're going to stir this and then taste it if there's anything we need to add like seasoning go ahead and add it at this point So I'm adding four seasoning cubes. I tasted mine and I feel like it's still lacking. I love something that tastes good. So I'm adding four seasoning cubes, guys. If you you can always add depending on your taste, but how you want it to taste. And I'm also adding a pinch of salt as well to it. So we mix everything together and then we can let it be on the fire for a few minutes. So this is almost all of it done and it's just about letting it simmer on the fire for everything to come together nicely. 
For this bitter leaf soup preparation, you can actually have it with corn fufu. I'm actually having mine today with corn fufu, but you can also have it with anything of your choice, anything you feel like you're comfortable having it with, or whatever tastes good for you. You can as well have it with any other fufu if it goes for you. You can have it with anything to chew, maybe plantains, yam, whatever thing that goes for you is fine. So our egosi is uh, ready for eating. Hope you did enjoy this receipt. It was kind of like straightforward and believe me, it tastes good as well. This is something you should try. I'm sure you will definitely like the outcome. Thank you guys again for watching. I really do appreciate. Please do not forget to click on the red subscribe button. Thank you.